All right, Coach. We are. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk. Uh, unfortunate situation here, Coach uh, Nut Nutsman. I'm sorry, Stutzman. I didn't mean. I didn't mean that. But right. you've earned the nickname. But okay, Coach. So uh, you know, obviously, this is a real hard time. Probably. Uh, you know, we've never seen anything like this. NCAA wrestling gets canceled. It's unprecedented. Uh, it's it's not even really a thing until yesterday. You and I probably didn't see this coming. None of you coaches really probably saw this coming. It was kind of a blind side. Tell me about the, the whole thing for you guys. Well, it was, it was uh, you know, we knew something was coming as far as the no fans. And my, my wife was a strength coach for the women's uh, basketball team, so she was in Cleveland. And, you know, they went out to Cleveland, I think, on Tuesday. They, uh, I think they played Kent State, actually. And, um, and, but there was no fans. So we knew something was, was happening. We just didn't know what. And then... You know, then when the NBA guy unfortunately tested positive, it kind of snowballed from there. And then the Ivy Leagues and, and uh, Patriot League canceled um, their conference tournaments, and then it just threw everything in a whirlwind. You know, and, and I, I saw this Nebraska coach at the Big Ten tournament. Did you see that guy? No. He was yeah. doubled over. He looked sick as a dog. I don't even know what this guy had. But it, I read it. I read it. Yeah. It, it, the guy looked like he was on death's door. You know, Tom Hanks and his wife got it. So now we're in this situation, I think the NBA, you know, when the Jazz guy got it, that was really when it was like, okay, this just isn't regular people getting it. This is a young, healthy, professional athlete getting it. Whereas Tom Hanks is in the target age that we're trying to protect here. People 60 and over, right? Um, but yeah, when you look at it, you and, I, and you and I, we joke around, but like you guys got the immune systems of horses, you know, like, but at the end of the day, it's a health safety issue and you know gatherings of more than 100 in Ohio have been banned Ohio State tournaments probably not going to happen they got it on postponed how'd you break it to you guys first off how many qualifiers for the Bulls we had two Derek Stan and Troy Keller two of the best kids I've ever been around and uh, so it was hard to break it to those guys and uh, but uh, we were getting ready to work out and then um, you know I knew something was coming down the pipe so I was kind of in my office a little bit and then uh, unfortunately I had to tell them the news Joel Greenlee, you know, I talked to him today, and he said he told everybody all at once. Did you did you pick one, or and, and you know, like, is Keller the junior college transfer? Yes. Yeah. This is it, and it, unfortunately, this was his last hurrah. You know, and, and that's hard. Did you did you tell them together? Or did you tell them one at a time? Well, it, it was kind of uh, it was kind of one at a time, just trying to find to locate those guys. You know what I mean? They're in the locker room or they're out and about, and. My workout was done and just trying to get my paws on those guys, just make sure they were okay and let them know I was there for them. And I know, I know it hurt. I know it hurts them really bad. And, and um, you know, unfortunately, like I said, it's a tough situation for everybody. At this point, you know, moving forward, you know, I talked to Joel about it. Uh, you know, we've got Johnny Sebastian, we've got Seth Gross. They're in their sixth year. People are talking about getting another year. Johnny Sebastian could be, honestly, he's going to have three or four degrees at the end of this thing. Is, a sick, is that, is that and, and, and I'm not joking. I think he's got two degrees from Northwestern. He's going to have one from, from Wisconsin. Where do you go moving forward? Do you fight for that year? Where do you see it going with extending, getting another year, not getting another year? Where are you? And, and I think it's not, you're talking to Joel. I don't know if he's for another year. How do you feel? Probably yesterday, you know, I didn't think it happened, you know, so my um, half glass, you know, half full glass, whatever it is, it, it's, I'm like, ah, oh, it's probably not going to happen, but it's starting to get a little bit of traction. You know, I think the spring sports may get it by talking to my compliance. And, and if, if a guy like Troy Keller wants it, he's only four years in college. It's his fourth year. And I, I, I think it's a no brainer for a kid. Like but some of these other guys are six years in, you know, what, what do you do? You know, so, sooner or later you got to, you gotta, you gotta move on, you know, with your life, and and you know, unfortunately, like I said, it, it's it's a different time for everybody. So it, it's trusty out plays the plow. You know, and, and so you're saying you got two, you got two seniors, both seniors that qualified. No, Span's only a junior. He Span's a junior, okay, so Span did get another year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hart has another year. Okay. And Keller does it, and, and, and that's where I feel really, I feel for this kid, you know. We had an opportunity to register him at the beginning of the year, and he didn't want to, you know. He goes, I want to go, I want to help this team out, and I want to win for the team, and, and he's done that. And now for this stuff to happen, not having his shot, 
you know, to, to be an All-American national champion, it's, 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 heart, it's heartbreaking. John, where do we go from here? Where do, where do we go from here? We're a day after, you know, I should be at the Ohio State Wrestling Tournament, which is postponed right now. Um, ultimately, I think you and I know what that means, most likely. Probably canceled. Um, where do we go from here? Where does wrestling do? Where do we go from here? The, the Olympics is, is obviously going to be in question. All of the Olympics, not just wrestling. Where do we go from here as a community? I lost you a little bit there, Coach. Sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we can get in two, three weeks, we get on with our normal lives, you know, and, and just be patient with this whole process. You know, in a rest room, you know, and my guys like being in a rest room and not being able to be in a rest room with my guys. And it, so, um, like I said, be patient, you know, and, and I'm not a patient person. No, you're not. No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> how long are you guys banned from activity? How long is the school out of session? What have they done there? We just left for spring break. Now all our guys are away for spring break, um, so it kind of is an ex it's not a good time, but it, it's a it's, it's a better time for most, right? And then come back from spring break, it's all online classes. And then at that time, my Mac, I, you know, I just got an email from the Mac saying that they're allowed to have, have voluntary workout. To, you know, they're, they're, if they want to work out, they can work out. And and I think these kids need some normalcy in their life. They need some structure. You know, whether it be working out, whether it be their spark and so we, we get them back to campus and, and, and uh, we, you know, we think this is the safest place, you know, and, and so we get them back to campus. And we're saying. Nice, Coach. Well, I hope, man, I really hope you guys can get them on campus and get the get them jowling again and, uh, you know, getting them where you need to be. Um, as far as off-season stuff, you know, obviously they, they've changed some things. Um, I think, I want to say Akron's different now, right? Akron's different. Yeah things, are, yeah, things are different right now. You know, I mean, it's Olympic year, right? So it's, everything's different. You know, we got my assistant coaches in Ottawa right now trying to make the Puerto Rican Olympic team, you know, so these top two are qualified for the Olympics. And, you know, and, and Coach McBride trying out for the, uh, you know, trying to make the senior uh, trial. So everything's up in the air right now. I don't, I don't. I don't know where anything is and, or, or what's going and, you know, what's coming and going. And the only thing I know is, is that my guys like to wrestle and, and hopefully, um, hopefully within the next month and, you know, if, if, you know, God willing, we can get back and, and keep everybody healthy and, and get going with our lives. Yeah, man, this is what you know, they, they played the NCAA, uh, you know, March Madness final, they final four. They played that through World War II. I want you to know that. This is the first year in like 80 years that they've missed it. Do you realize that? Crazy, right? And just thinking, and then, then September 11th, you know, is it, we've actually been shut down and deal, as you know, our prices. But, but you know, it, it's it's unprecedented, you know, and and, and I, you know, we just got to be patient. We got to do what's right for our student athletes, our communities, our families, and. You know, I got my mother, 65, 70 years old, lives in Florida, so, and she has COPD, so I'm, I'm really worried for her also. Yeah, so, you know, it's like, it's a bigger issue than just wrestling at this point. Right. Family, you know, I got 70-year-old, 71, 72-year-old mom and dad who are down in Florida, too, and I'm in the same boat as you, man. Yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's life, you know, and understand that, and I think we can put it in and do it best for everybody yeah well listen i know you're at school to pick up paxson i'm gonna stay in touch with you he, yeah he is an animal he's always all bruised up and beat up when i see him from, from running my dad would call it sorting wildcats but he's a madman but um we're gonna stay keep you in the loop probably try and get you on another call next week coach but you got anything else for me no but i, I really appreciate what you're doing but like i said let's just be patient and kind of see where it goes and you know this is about the you know the welfare of everyone so Let's just keep plugging away. All right, Coach. Good luck to you guys, and thanks for the time. Thanks for the man. Thanks, buddy.